Ta-da! All right, down to the very last steps. This is the complete fairy terrarium background of the 29 gallon tank. I have just a few more steps to do and that is going to be this uh, false bottom, which that is a light diffuser. I have a video that I'll tag into this that will show you exactly what that does um, and how to build it. But it is because the terrariums have um, a bit more moisture and humidity, I always like to have a false bottom just in case there is too much moisture. It will drain down to the bottom of the tank and I can either siphon it out or it can evaporate back into the soil. Um, I just hate having my soil all soppy and yucky. So this is a really great way to prevent that. Um, so the false bottom is a light diffuser. And then I have a water bottle that I've cut. So I will be able to siphon any water if I need to at a later date. I have the window screen that I've cut to fit. And then I have a, um, a weed blocker. And that is just per to prevent any of the dirt to going into the false bottom. So I will set all of this stuff up and then we will put pebbles all the way around the edging here just to hide and camouflage that. And then we'll go ahead and be able to fill up the dirt all the way up to the bottom or bottom level of the backing. And then we'll fill up all of the pots and we'll get close to my favorite part, which is the planting. So here we go.
And now, as you can see, I have put my window screen and my weed blocker over my false bottom. I've added my little layer of pebbles between the tank and my false bottom just to camouflage it and um, to hide it, as you can see. And then what I'm going to do now is I am going to, I just broke up all this lump charcoal. It's hardwood lump charcoal you get in the barbecue department. And it is going to act as a filter between my false bottom and my soil layer. And that is going to not only pull the toxins and the bacteria away from my soil, but it's also going to help deodorize the tank. And I love my tanks to smell like, you know, you've been in the forest or the jungle. So this is where I'm going to add about a half inch layer of this uh, charcoal that I have broke up into teeny tiny pieces. And then on top of that, I'm going to lay my dirt all the way up to the top layer of my uh, of my background. So here we go guys, next step. And there you go. Here is our charcoal layer surrounded by our pebble layer. And now I'm going to add my dirt layer. Almost time for planting. And here is my terrarium soil mix. I have right here is cocoa fiber. So it's just coconut ground up the husk. I've got here some coconut bark and orchid mix just a little bit. And then I have right here my sphagnum moss. And I just have a little bit of sand. And what I'll do is I'll just mix all of this together and make a really good mixture, and then it's going in my tank. Woo woo! All right, look how great this soil looks. Oh my gosh, my plants are gonna be so happy. All right, let's add it to the tank. All right, look what we got, guys. Here is our dirt-filled terrarium. I will come up close so you guys can see. It has a really great layer of dirt. I've got some leaf debris in there. And what I'm gonna do now, so the next couple of days it can do a good cycle with bacteria and such, I have, let's open this up. I have springtails, which are microorganisms that help to break up all of the leaf debris and that will give nutrients to my plants. <clears throat> and so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add the, all of these culture of springtails. You see them hopping? It's so cool. So I'm going to add springtails to all of my areas. any more in there yes you see all those little white jumpy bugs they're the good stuff so there we go and now you can see all of the microorganisms doing their thing they're gonna go ahead and eat up all of the leaf litter and go ahead and cycle this system out and then I will be able to add all my plants. Yay!